Hi guys, it's the VI Show. Hi dudes, today is the 16th of March 2013. Hey, 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 let's give it up for Tony. <laughs> give it up for Georgie boy. And finally, let's give it up for Bill who is a political strategist for the Democratic Party. <laughs> hey guys. Have we got a show for you? Have we? Hey VI, you never fail to make me laugh. Hey Tony, I told you a while back that happy days are here again. Just look at the stock markets. The Dow Jones Index is standing at 14,514 points. And hey gloomy dude, so much for gold prices rising. They have fallen recently. Admit that you were wrong man. Have a look at the caption behind me. Have you seen it before? Yeah man, you were always showing the caption, and I've told you before I am a fan of Rogue Runner. Beep beep. <laughs> that caption represents where we are financially. We have actually have gone over the cliff, but are suspended in midair until reality dawns, and it is now starting to dawn. I would like to show you the following clip. Basically, what has been decided in a completely unprecedented uh, decision that took place during the early hours of the morning is that they will tax, uh, they will impose a levy on all deposits of, so anybody with a bank account in Cyprus and has over 100,000 euros will be taxed at 9.9%. And even those with under 100,000, and we're talking about people with savings, basically, uh, anybody with savings will be taxed. If they're under 100,000 with 6.75%, which is extremely bizarre considering that the EU has guaranteed um, private bank deposits of up to 100,000 euros. Gosh, so does it just affect Cypriots or are there people, expats living there who might have bank accounts? Um, I believe the Russians also uh, save money in Cyprus. Well, there's been a lot of talk about the Russians, but what people don't seem to understand is that we have 70 billion euros worth of deposits in Cyprus, and I think something around 20 billion of that is Russian. The rest is not. Mm -hmm. So the vast majority is um, Cypriot residents, people living in Cyprus. Uh, one in four people in Cyprus are foreign, so it's not just Cypriots. Okay. But I think the biggest impact of this decision is that, that it's exposed the EU for the complete lack of solidarity in terms of how it treats less significant smaller countries. I mean, Cyprus does not have one of those fiscal deficits that's just gone blazing through the roof. We, we've had a, a relatively uh, controlled fiscal deficit, but what we did do was suffer under the exposure to Greece. And when the EU came and decided to impose a, um, a haircut on, on Greek bondholders, uh, this affected the Cypriot banks by four okay. billion, approximately 25% of its GDP. Okay. So uh, I, 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 well, the average man and woman on the street, people like my parents who've been saving up all their lives working, will now have to pay for that. And I think that's completely unprecedented. And it shouldn't, it's not just something that will impact expats or Cypriots. Okay. Stefanos, presumably you just go to your bank today and uh, take out the money so you'll be out below that 100,000 euro threshold. Um, well, even if I'm below that, well, I'm definitely below that 100,000 threshold, but the uh, ATMs are actually, there's long queues at the ATMs, but you can only take out a certain amount, and electronic transactions have been frozen, so there's no real way, and it's a long weekend, it's a bank holiday on Monday, so um, basically whoever didn't take out their money yesterday, and not many people did, unless they were aware of what was about to happen. Then, every, you know, whoever hasn't taken out their money for yesterday will be impacted by this today. And, and people, everyday people, not the people who spend their money, but the people who save their money will be affected and will have money. A lot of people are calling this daylight robbery. Unlike Cyprus, the U.S. have taken the right steps.
We are now on the road to recovery. Bill, what is happening in Cyprus is a sheer disgrace. In a nutshell it is theft. It was the banking elite and politicians that caused this financial crisis. There has been a transfer of wealth from the poor to the rich. Good grief, have you seen the size the bankers' bonuses lately? At least in the US we have averted this crisis. Are you mad? Do you really believe what you have just said? Seriously, do you believe it? Er, yes. Even President Obama says we are in recovery. Bill. I would say that the US is in a very bad position financially, it's just that it has been well hidden. What do you mean by that? The US debt currently stands at $16.6 .6 trillion, it passed its debt ceiling of $16.4 trillion a couple of months ago, and what did they do? They ignored the problem. The debt ceiling issue was supposed to be sorted out at the beginning of March, it has now been delayed until May and I will put money on that the debt ceiling will be raised, and probably to $19 trillion. The fiscal cliff issue was not addressed, the US should have had spending cuts by now. Quantitative easing still continues at $85 billion a month including mortgage-backed securities. And guess what George, all this has prevented a financial collapse in the US? Bill you are slippery, you talk like a typical politician. Why on earth could you not tell us the truth? Do you want to hear the truth audience? Okay here it is. The US is typical of any western economy, in that it has abused the debt based fractional reserve banking fiat monetary system. Have credit cards been beneficial to the population? No they have not, credit cards have debased the money supply and have a very high interest payment. Have subprime lending been beneficial to the population? No, subprime lending has been very damaging. Subprime lending also debased the money supply, it created a panic and fueled house inflation. Also we have not seen anything yet with respect to the derivatives time bomb. The banking elite have simply creamed off the profits whilst the tax paying mugs have been bailing them out for their irresponsible behavior. I can only class it as criminal, I feel very sorry for the savers in Cyprus, as they have fallen foul to the corrupt banking system, do you really think the banking elite have suffered, they really must be laughing at us for being such mugs, and allowing the abuse to happen. Make no mistake, the US and UK population have been fleeced, except it has been more subtle by the introduction of quantitative easing, the net effect is the same. A major collapse is on the way, I truly believe that gold and silver will rise in price following the loss of confidence in the paper currency. Look around, the signs are there, the collapse is happening right now. Where the hell is that rope man? George and Tony are truly the UK gloomy dudes. I would like to play us out with a song that sums up the reasons why western currencies are going to collapse. People who are familiar with my channel will have heard it a few times. Hey man. You've played it to me a few times. It's called Debt Bomb. Members of Congress, I have the high privilege and distinct honor of presenting the President of the United States. Just cars consume my shite Government spending all through the night Pensions and healthcare and welfare rights Education wars to fight Run up a deficit, ignore the facts Blame someone else, put up tax I can't deny we had a crack But now we gotta pay it back You know what you are you're dead bomb, dead bomb, you're a dead bomb uh -huh. The addiction to credit just goes on and on Get it Dead you. bomb, dead bomb, you're a dead bomb A bailout, ooh, you turn me on You know what you're doing to me, don't you? <laughs> I know you do If you can 
can't afford it, don't be ill at ease no. Spend it any way you've got voters to appease Take the prudent savers and just give them a squeeze Ow. That's the economics of Keynes One more time now Quantitative easing, zero interest rates Steal from the future, hide the bad mistakes We gotta keep those asset prices high Don't matter if the credit's dry <laughs> Debt bomb, debt bomb, you're a debt bomb uh -huh. Try to pay the debt off with inflation Debt bomb, debt bomb, yeah. you're a debt bomb Now investment, ooh, you turn me on <laughs> A boom caused by excess credit will always bust yeah. You've then got two choices, decide you must Abandon the addiction, the credit lust Or well, the currency collapses, it just turns to worthless dust yeah. Dead bomb, dead bomb, you're a dead bomb Destroy the country's money, anything to carry on Dead bomb, dead bomb, you're a dead bomb Bubbles, ooh, you turn me on <laughs>